Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the pre-show. The pre-show. There's no music? Oh. The wrong mic. again. That's what happened. There we go. But let's enjoy the music a little bit. All right, guys. Welcome to the pre-show. Sorry about the lack of music. All right, it's amateur hour. It's 151 episodes, and I still can't get it right. Ah, please! <laughs> oh my god, it's uh, psychic magic. If any, if uh, you are interested in what music this is, so you can listen to it while I'm away. Google it, psychic magic. It's because I like the edibles. That's why I need some psychic magic in my life. And uh, yeah, I have Jonathan actually joining me here right from the, the get-go, so to speak. And uh, we're going to talk about... well. I had nothing. So I just came up with this topic of talking about the cheapest Rolex versus the cheapest Omega because I thought it was a uh, it's like a you know you look at the cheapest watches that the brand have has and it kind of tells you a lot about the brand. That's that's kind of I, I had this this idea. That's that's why that's what I and I wanted to look because I actually I I prevented myself from looking. What 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 we can we find on Chrono Twenty Four from Rolex versus Omega? And oh, we got the super chat from Kurt Antonini, two dollars. This tent in Korea looks a lot like your usual set. Uh, I'm gonna need a little bit more. On that, this tent in Korea looks a lot. Oh, okay. He means my set over here in the studio, the JC Studio, guys, the infamous JC Studio. I want to thank everybody for the for the kind upvotes and uh, Logan Hall. Oh my God, my my Frankenstein just sold. I had a bought one book Frankenstein. I put it on Fleabay and it just sold seventy five bucks. Woo-hoo, let's go. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. Hello, good evening uh, to everyone from uh, from Germany, particularly to Perth Luxury. I'll, I'll comment later on, on your uh, stream. And M3 Carlino, always a pleasure to see you. By the way, Jonathan, uh, did, you, did you watch yesterday's stream? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, did you see the, the German gentleman who joined yes, us? Yes, Alex. Alex, now, I asked him if he knows you, but he said he doesn't. I guess it makes sense because not all German people know each other. But you guys have, both of you guys have insane taste in watches. Yes, I'd really like to discuss with him why he sold his annual calendar and uh, which annual calendar he had from Lange. <laughs> Oh my god, maybe he'll join us today. Uh we'll Hopefully, see. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know him. I haven't met him before. Um we are 82 million people, so yeah. Uh, no, I wouldn't <laughs> not very high. <laughs> I, I wouldn't expect that you guys know each other, but uh still it was it was really funny. It was really funny. Uh we got Logan Hall saying, Tim, now that you're unemployed, I'm expecting 24 hour stream marathon. By the way. Now that I actually, you know what? It does actually make sense. Uh, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Once I have my backpack packed, once I have everything ready to fly, what I'm going to do is try to do one of these 24-hour streams. Just gonna, I'm going to give it a whack. I'll go for as long as I can. However, I do have to warn you guys that it might not be possible to do... 24 hours in one go because I believe YouTube has a limit of like eight hours per stream. So we're, we might have to re reboot, reboot. 
So that's just uh, a heads up. Mossy says, I voted for Tim's wife not killing him last night. Yeah, she was actually quite supportive about the whole situation. Surprising. She's cool. Tim, why are you unemployed? Grendel. Yeah, I was fired. My 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 parents fired me. That's the problem with, with working for your parents. You can get sacked at any time. It's weird how that works. Uh, yeah. Anaki Chen, Tim has found financial freedom, no work. Exactly. No, it, you know, it actually takes very little, uh, rev you know, very little money to run one of these streams, especially from a flyover state like Archie always suggested. And uh, REG, yep, I'm going to try to do that. Parth says, I've covered the gorilla doo doo. Tim Wright is horrible. Michael. Schumacher AP all the way. Special thanks as well for getting my shirt posted out to me as well. Hey, no problem, man. Uh, somebody actually did buy the community t-shirt. Can you believe it, Jonathan? Can't believe that, but uh, it's still cool. I like it. Let me show you. It's so funny. Actually, the guy uh, who made the design for me for the community, he said, so... As you can see, it's uh, <laughs> it's just very yeah. simple. I think I think you need to uh, to to have a T-shirt just with "com you need t very bold just uh, just uh, the word on on your T-shirt. You should do that. By the way, what's the what's the community in German? Uh, <laughs> we we use the same name. You you're catching me on the wrong foot uh, all the time when you're asking me for the right word in German. Um, Gemeinschaft. It, it would be Gemeinschaft. Gemeinschaft. Yes. Gemeinschaft in Glashütte. In Glashütte. Oh. <laughs> in Glashütte. <laughs> By the way, so he he told me that he's gonna make. Apparently, the guy, this guy, he's from Germany as well. My God, I have so many German viewers. It's unbelievable. And so this guy, he he said he actually made one game and shaft for me, or mm -hmm. I can't pronounce. No, it. gay uh, gay is something different. So it's game mind shaft. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't pronounce it. I can't pronounce it, man. But he's gonna make one uh, in German because he said it's, it's some kind of a pun. It, it has like a double meaning or something. Yeah, yeah okay. gemein can also mean mean. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, like mean, like uh... <laughs> yeah, Kurt, Kurt Antonini. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gemeinschaft. So, so he said he's gonna make it uh, in German, specifically for the German audience, because he said it's some important. And I also sent him a higher resolution image so he can make this bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So that's uh, I'm I'm shocked that that somebody actually bought one of those. But yeah, so I do have some some stuff here. I, hopefully, I'm gonna be able to add some good some good merch, merch, merch. I like the two tone Tim. Um, like the two tone Tim. Yeah, somebody yeah. actually, I did put it on the discount for for some short time, but I'm gonna take it off. Uh, yeah, somebody said it was too mo too expensive. So I dropped. How much is it? Thirty for the uh, twenty bucks. Oh, it was twenty yeah. bucks. I think actually at twenty dollars, actually I sell these at a loss. So uh, it is what it is. But yeah, let me. How do I make this smaller now? I'm kind of stuck. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's do it this way. Okay. So enough, enough spooking my my live stream. Conrad, Guys, how's it going? Unemployed. Super chat some some money here. <laughs> and and why is my picture disappeared? Conrad, why why has my picture disappeared? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. No, 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 it's Conrad. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's me. <laughs> How's it going, man? Good, good. How are you guys? Hey, Very we're just. Uh, yeah, we're just starting starting up this stream. Actually, can I can I tell you what I did just uh, before? Yes, sure. So, so we have friends uh, from the U.S. Uh, being here in Germany, and I mm -hmm. took um, the husband of my former neighbor from Hamburg. He, he's from America. I took him with my car two hours away to a country little village, and we have been in a beer garden, have some schnitzel with French fries, totally mm. German, and we had a blast and a very nice drive through the country. Oh, yes. Actually, you know what? 
I'm gonna I'm gonna sh can I share those images or some some images maybe? Um, you you mean from Switzerland? From, yes, from yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, by the way, you know one of the one of the reasons that I really got into hiking is because when I was in uh, Zurich, we were mm -hmm. going to Geneva, and we were on the train and we were watching all these amazing mountains, and I r really fell in love with with all that nature. I was like, oh my god. Uh, I and then I, I researched and apparently like I wanna I found out that there was this hike toward the Mont Blanc. It's like seven days or something. So my my life goal would be to to do that to do tour the Mont Blanc sometime. Hopefully now that I'm employed, almost at any point in the future. You know what I mean? Yeah. Should be pretty easy. Especially oh, yeah. since I I don't think Mont Blanc is easy. A lot of people are dying to, <laughs> on that trip. So. No, no, around the mountain or where? Around, okay, okay, yeah, around, around the mountain. Not, not, yeah. not up the mountain, but I would love to go up the mountain as well. Yeah. But, uh, uh, is, is it snow up there all year? Uh, yes, Mont Blanc, yes. Um, basically, the, the Mont Blanc star that you see on, on the writing instruments it symbolizes the uh, the six or seven glaciers that are running down uh, from from Mont Blanc uh, summit. So you have mm. glaciers all year long. Mm. Oh, we got some super chats. Jesse Johnson, five bucks. Big day here. Just got back from my AD with new Pepsi on the oyster. That will be the dragon. <sighs> The Congratulations! The dragon. That's the <laughs> prophet. Prophet nicknamed it the dragon. <laughs> so we're gonna call it. We're gonna, we're gonna call it the dragon. Uh, and celebrating by picking up a bottle of Aventus. Wow! Congratulations! I was actually just gonna put on some Sauvage because it's a really hot day, and I love myself a little bit of this humble Sauvage. Mm. And Marco, Marco just got uh, my my package where I sent him a bottle of Sauvage as well. Well, it was not full bottle, but he said bought, it's amazing. I bought a bottle of Hermes uh, te uh, Ter. Is it is Ter, it ter? ter yeah. Hermes? Well, which yes. formulation is it? Parfum. Or Parfum. Parfum. Yeah. Parfum? Oh, it's yes. strong. You're strong. Vetiver. Vetiver. Very pro it's a it's a super professional kind of if you're wearing a a, a lange and zun that works perfectly with that. But okay. if you're wearing a steel sports, Savage could do it can't do wrong. And Kurt Antonini says upvote and super chat fikers. Thank you for the kind reminder. Let me just catch up a little bit more. But by the way, guys, please. Hit the upvote button if you're watching. It just really freaking helps out with the algorithm thing. So yeah, Perf says uh, I thought Paul Thorpe was meant to be live with a certain individual right now. Really, right now? No, I thought it was tomorrow. What's going on? Um, yeah, I think it is tomorrow. Yeah, Anaki Chen, Tim, do you accept? Do you accept crypto? Uh, I, I don't know how. I think, uh, oh, maybe, maybe you can uh, probably via what's it called, PayPal. I think you should uh, set that up like a wallet where people can send it to you. <laughs> now that you're unemployed, you need every source of revenue you can get. Oh my god, I, you're gonna have to show me how to do that. But I do have <laughs> PayPal. It's in the video description. Oh, Tom said, "Game and Shaft," and Peter Richardson says, "Community." Community, uh, watch Cardinal. How is the community feeling about the interview tomorrow? Yeah, I actually I posted a kind of a mini poll about that, and the outlooks are kind of grim-ish. So, M3 points out that Marco Paul has been removing comments. I left three different ones each time he removed them. I also noticed he removed everyone. No show, no chance. I wonder why he's doing that, but uh, I'm not Paul. I do have to remove some comments myself, but not too many. Um, he did say that um, a lot, a, you know. Did you guys watch that interview between Archie and Paul Thorpe? 
I've just but, watched it, yes. Yeah, what did yeah, you think? I've seen it too, yeah. Well, go, go ahead, Conrad. Um, I mean, I think it was just Archie being Archie. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I, I totally get what Marco was saying yesterday about him, you know, you know, that he could take it down a notch, but that's not really his style. You know, I don't expect that from him. But overall, I thought it was okay. I thought it was good. Yeah. John? Um, I, I think uh, um, Archie was a little bit overacting um, <laughs> in, in his usual manner. Not sure which edibles he had. Um, but um, I, would, I would have appreciated that he would have been a little bit more constructive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I think it was good for the clicks. It, it, it was... At, like I, I think I had kind of a little bit more constructive conversation with him, so it's nice to have a constructive and deconstructive one, um, just yeah. to see what kind of sentiment there's going to be out there. Um, but yeah, yeah, it was early in the morning, and as we know, Archie does tend to explode. Also, I think you got to remember. I think Paul, uh, Paul Thorpe asked Archie to come on. So sounded like Archie was scrambling, wasn't he? Wasn't ready. So you yeah, know, yeah, that it's that total rush. Yeah, Jay Wright, two pounds super chat. Hi Tim, what you think when you see tag quartz on the wrist? Um, well, what I think is that so it's someone who doesn't know anything about watches. They know Tag Heuer because Tag Heuer is a really strong brand. They've seen it everywhere. They think Tag means super. You know, they think it's important. Uh, but they got the quartz because why would you bother getting the automatic and have to deal with all the hassle? So it's kind of a newbie, newbie mistake. And JBJB. Five euro fifty cents, Tim. Do not go hiking for a month. What am I going to do with three extra <laughs> hours a day? Uh, <laughs> look, um, I will be trying to produce some content while I'm away. I will be filming a lot of stuff, so there's gonna be uh, there's gonna be things. Uh, mm. Tim, I think uh, the the okay, number of births in the in the community will go up in that month because everybody is <laughs> discovering that they have their wives at home. <laughs> <laughs> Man, actually, yo, I I had people messaging me like, guys, stop! You guys, you're making too much content. <laughs> I can't keep up with everything, and I have to watch everything. So I think giving the community. A little bit of the breathing room would would kind of be nice, especially because once I come back, it's gonna be full throttle uh, ahead before the next before the next hike. Yeah, and but, I, I I'm sure the other boys will pick up some of the slack as well. Yes, yes, yes. And now we have, we have JJ monetized. Hopefully, he'll be picking up some. Uh, uh, doing some streams, we have uh, Marco. Marco's doing three hour streams easily now, so that's it's all good. Um, Lolex said he's uh starting a channel, I believe. Yeah, yeah, we, we might have Lolex streams coming. Uh, actually, Lolex can do late, he can do after, after show. Actually, I'm gonna be discussing this whole thing about tw you know, a lot of people are actually. Re unfortunately <laughs> but a lot of people are excited about the 24 7 wrist watch streaming network that's right a network of live streamers who when one show ends pick up on the next show we're gonna we're gonna have a rotation of people around the world working together <laughs> as a community to pump out Endless streams around the clock, around you know, the world, around the clock. You know when you um, look at a uh, a TV channel's schedule and it has the time slot for yes. every hour. <laughs> we get yeah. one of those. Super yes. chat, super chat, super chat. Uh, uh, 
Oh, 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 okay, let me get. Oh, Big Papa Tony. Big Papa Tony. Paul is currently sharpening his machete. <laughs> no, there is Tony. another one. Yeah. And Jesus. JB, JB, 22 euro. Can I bribe you? Perhaps not to go. Just kidding. Have a fun. My man, well deserved. JB, thank you so much. I actually, I was going to bring with me crappy camera, but because I'm like, I'm actually going to use this footage for some greater things. I figured, you know what? Forget about the bullshit camera. I'm going all out. I'm bringing the heavy, the beast. I'm bringing the beast. So whatever, whatever comes off after this, this thing, I'm going to have to make a big video, something that I can use as my resume. Resume. I'm going to try to get in touch with some brands for the community. Actually, I was uh, just talking to Tim about that. I was totally against uh, that that he's taking that hike. Uh, but I've been Yo, uh, guys, Jonathan. <laughs> the reason he contacted me was be because I think I mentioned this like three months ago, and he 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 messaged me. It was like the first thing he said was like, "Hey." <laughs> This is stupid. Don't go. I see your channel is growing. Why would you do that? Why would you compromise your channel for the sake of going on the hike? It's going so great. You're going to lose steam. Look, you yeah. can put it this way. This will be the end of season one and season two. <laughs> <laughs> reboots. Well, reboots. But, but the story continues because I've been in Switzerland from Sunday for three nights. And... Um, it was just beautiful. It was just gorgeous to be within the mountains. Uh, we we had an incredible hike. And um, every night and every morning, we had that little river running uh, just after our room. Uh, so that, that put us uh, to bed at night. And that was the first thing that we heard in the morning. And in the morning, I was just watching Tim's stream. And he explained what, why he wanted to do it. And I... I could totally understand it um, because we were just uh, uh, um, uh, uh, heading for another hike. Uh, so I totally understand him now and uh, he has all my blessings. So I, I apologize for having been wrong. <laughs> I'm, I, guys, I, I got to tell you, you know, as, as, as good as watches are, I think I want you guys to take the watches out into nature. If, if you're in, in the mountains, you totally forget which kind of watch you're wearing. And I had my Lange Perpetual calendar on, but you don't care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan yeah. made a uh, holy fike. GS Superman. $100 Super Chat Timbo, my man. Nice to see our friend Jonathan and hope you're wearing your grand Seiko tonight. Actually, you know what? Jonathan came onto the show to talk about the Grand Seiko. He but was like, if me, you don't have me one minute, yeah. give me one minute, I run down and I'm wearing my Grand Seiko now. So go grab it. Go <laughs> I'll go down. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Go get it. Go get it. Because actually, uh, he's got this Grand Seiko. I was I kind of poo-pooed it a little bit, like, man, what is what is what is Seiko doing with these, uh, you know, with these with these releases? Because Seiko has been really upping up the price, and he he actually he bought in. He got one of those a thousand dollar Seikos. Actually, let me put it up on the screen. One second, it's like it's like on the whole dinky. One second, one second, let me get this thing. Send me the link, but uh, let's see here. A week on the wrist, the Seiko prospects. SPB 143. Oh, yeah, that one. I like that one. Right? But it's expensive. Oh, it's like a thousand bucks. Well, that's a lot of money for Seiko. Yeah, but it's a nice one. It's. I don't think it's too crazy. Okay, you know, me... they make like $3,000 Seiko. Not I know, right? That's, that's crazy. Look okay, I'm back. Back? I got the I got the article pulled up as well. Yeah, GS Superman. Which which Grand Seiko do you mean? Because you know I have a couple of them, so <laughs> I hope I chose the right one. Jonathan has like the craziest Grand Seikos too. 
Man, you got like wait, which which one which ones do you do you have right now? Um, I'm I'm having the the spring watches. It's something with uh, four one three. Let me just check because I never get those references right. Hmm. While you're looking for that, let's uh, let's actually discuss this one right here, real quick. The the prospects. This Seiko was like, I th this this is a remake of a of a super vintagey thing. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like I, I, I was really divided on this one because I, I wanted that Seiko to be like I wanted this uh, SPB one forty three to be like three hundred bucks, and I just because I was so used to, uh, you know, I was so used to, to the SKXs being three hundred, so I did, I didn't I didn't know is there like quality difference like I or did they just raise their price for for no good reason or what's going no, on i think the movement Marco. in this one is a lot better what's up buddy tim i'm addicted to this thing guys it smells <laughs> so good this other, the other one show, show us so the bottle good. yeah sure there we go guys everything i have or own smells like trash it smells like crypto <laughs> crap compared to this what the hell this is so addictive <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Uh, I, that was by the way that's uh the captain has sent me right yeah. th that and i forwarded it to marco because i had a bottle of my own and i was really enjoying this and i was like man and i, I knew uh marco had just the mont blanc spirits like, man we need to <laughs> increase you know make a increase the collection of the Dude, fragrance was like got you guys forward. are making me like dangerously expensive things it's not good to <laughs> <laughs> well, you just wait until you got a little fragrance collection like me. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Uh, oh, so my. GS Superman just said any of the GS would make him very happy. So mm -hmm. currently I'm wearing the SBGA413 and I sent you a link, Tim. Oh, you know what? I think he was just wearing this one yesterday. Oh, really? You know okay. that? Yeah. Oh, is it the Four Seasons? It's the Four yeah. Seasons. Yes. Nice. And, and yeah, Marco, actually, I know, I know that, today you, or yesterday. that you appreciate it, uh, especially because this watch basically doesn't have a bezel. Right, there's that. And it's also like the dial itself, uh, at least the one that he showed off yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. It's the it this spring one, right? one. Yeah. Right. And it's also, yeah. doesn't it relate to like cherry blossom trees? It also, yes. almost looks pinkish, right? Yeah. Yes, but... Um, the grade of pink um, is a little bit, uh, it, it has a little var variety. So my watch has only a very slight hush of pink. I've seen earlier watches that have been really pink. So um, um, it changes a little bit. So basically when, when I'm wearing this watch in the sunlight, it looks like silverish gray, like, right. like the first picture here. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, no, no, even more gray because that looks pinkish. Yeah, this one looks very pink. Well, it it also might be uh, that whoever is the editor, mm -hmm. they're enhancing it with a little bit more pink yeah. than it actually yeah. is. And you, you know, an another point about photos. So you know, when we're all looking at photos here on our own devices, mm. all of our screens are calibrated differently as well. Yeah. So oh, you yeah. never you never really know until you see it in person. Oh, so you so you actually have you have this one, Jonathan? I didn't yes. realize. Yes. Uh, Can I ask, how do they awesome. make these dials? Is each one a piece unique? Is each one like different? Uh, no, no, no. It's a it's a printed um, it's a printed okay, printed OT. Uh, gotcha. But in my opinion, this is the better deal compared to the Snowflake. I don't like the uh, the, the broad indices on on the Snowflake, um, and I like the case shape much better than the Snowflake. Uh, so. Mm. so that, that is my choice, my my personal preference on on the watch. Oh, and GS Superman confirms that he did wear it yesterday. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> uh, he he's in my WhatsApp group and he he shared it with with people. I was like, oh my god, man! These these uh, Grand Seikos they really pop in the sunlight. I must I must also add every Grand Seiko that I own looks mm. much better uh, than on any picture that you find on the internet. Um, mm. You can't judge a Grand Seiko, particularly the dial and the hands, 
uh, from pictures that you see on on the internet just try them out in in person uh, they are mind blowing oh so there's actually there's two there's spring and winter yeah, there's multiple yeah. they actually have one for each season oh they have one more but yeah, those are the, those, those two watches are titanium the the other uh, watches are steel with a high beat movement and they oh. have what is it? it's the green dial and the red one is the auto green and blue i think is it blue i think so yeah are you sure the autumn isn't the red one pretty sure huh. let's look this up hold on Jay Wright says J O M W does not rate that Seiko. Uh, You're right. It is the blue one. Yes. Better just, beat. Yeah, just more, one more watch. The channel. Oh, just more, just one and, more uh, watch. He's saying there are better bang for, bang for bang, bang per buck. Than what? Than the uh, that Seiko, the thousand dollar one. Oh, uh, so he says. So, so I, I'm not sure what that means. So, so are, the so value. He thinks it's too expensive. The uh, the the other one. The, the other, other one, one is too expensive. The thousand dollar one. Mm. I totally disagree. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe technically with the movement yeah. or what's inside, but I think the design is really nice. I mean, I would pay a premium for a watch I like, you know, the look of more. But you know, you can make the te technical argument that it's too expensive. You know, I actually like this design more than SKX or the Turtle. I just find this really pleasing. And you know, part of the reason I, I really like this because it kind of reminds me of the Explorer 2 of the old days you know, with the squ the, head, the square indices, mm -hmm. the square markers. And you don't see actually, you know, like even Tudor. Like tutors, old Tudors had square markers and the new Tudors have round uh, except uh, like the Pel Pelagos. But the Pelagos, they're not kind of encapsulated, a little bit different. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm waiting for a watch mm -hmm. with a really high quality square indices. Just and, not. And you know what I think? So Tudor uses squares, where where mm -hmm. these are rectangles, and I think the rectangles look look better. They look amazing. Is it just me, or do the odd? Sorry. So like yeah. at, at twelve. Three, six, and nine. They're they're rectangles, and then they look trapezoidal on mm -hmm. all the other one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is it just me? Yeah, no, I think I think okay. it's either optical illusion, but I think they they, they look are trapezoidal, kind of, right? Yeah, kind of yeah. trapezoid. Yeah, it's yeah, nice. I it, like it. I like it, that. It, it's a subtle difference because um, you want your three, six, nine to be uh, to be different, right? Maybe a little bit. I have received this watch last week in person. So I ordered this particular watch and I, uh, uh, it blew my mind. I, I know that the criticism was uh, like, uh, this looks like a Seiko 5 or mm -hmm. something like that. But it looks like SKX, but just for $1,000 for some reason. Yeah, but, but um, if you see it in nature, it's, it's mind blowing. Yep. Um, we, we're talking about the bezel action. If you turn that bezel, it's oily, smooth, with with very nice clicks. Do you want to hear it? I, yes, I, we I want to hear it. Yes, my and, uh, I'll, give me do another have, one. Yeah? Do you have SKX by any chance? Uh, no, uh, I have, no, I, I don't have an SKX, but I, ha I have a cheap Seiko somewhere. Let okay. me check. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead, go ahead. This. So, one second. No, I, no, that's not. <laughs> that's not the one. Okay, uh, let me get the Seiko. I, I'll be back in. Go grab it. Yeah, you want to hear SKX bezel? Oh yes. Okay, tell me if you can hear it. Does that yeah. pick up? Yeah, sounds very. It's it's mushy. Yeah. It's not great. It's like, it's like turning a fork in mashed potatoes. And like it does, not, it does not click. It's very. It has a lot of back play. Like it's very mushy clicking. Seiko Samurai Blue Dial, bang per buck. Ooh. See this, I'm not the biggest fan of Tim. I have Ooh, to admit. Yeah. I don't love the case or the like the case onto the looks. You see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a kind of a weird transition, but. Yeah. Like I like the patty. What's his name? Uh, Cars and Chrono has the Paddy Turtle with the Pepsi kind of bezel. That's the mm -hmm. one to get, in my opinion. Mm. And the, the what's turtle, the size the of turtles. this? This looks 
huge. It's big. I think it's 44. <sighs> it's too huge, too huge. But Seiko, you know, Seiko cases were smaller than mm. listed. You know, also, like, there's something wrong with this blue. It kind of looks cheap. I don't know what it is about it. Also, like, you look at the mark. Holy super fikes. GS Superman, man. It's like perfect timing. Uh, uh, LOL, we should ask for another watch <laughs> and have Jonathan run down <laughs> like 10 times tonight. <laughs> he doesn't have a heart. You know, GS Superman for <laughs> for for a hundred bucks. I'm I'm walking up and down all night long. Don't worry. <laughs> By the way, Tim, how are you doing, man? First of all, before we introduce uh, any more, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, like, well, like what? Great. I'm doing Considering better now. Considering the circumstances, right? Considering the circumstances, I'm doing better. You know, I'm. Uh, you know, I actually the. My uh, the partner, right? The partner from the business. They asked me to come in uh, for like a couple hours and and uh, just give a few like heads up to the person who's gonna replace me, which is like a messed up thing to do, you know? They fired me. They said, no. "Yeah, yeah no, they, no, I, I know." It's like, but they're she was. To, you know, she, they're trying to have their cake and eat it too. You know, she's like, she's like, I wasn't the one who fired you. It was your dad. That is I'm like, ridiculous. well, that's kind of ridiculous. Like, and here, train this person uh, who's gonna replace you. It's like, well, oh, what they, the? Are they gonna pay you for that? They didn't say anything, but I don't know. Like, I, I didn't I, ask. I, I'm I wouldn't just, do you it know... for free. <laughs> <sighs> it's just, it's insane. You know what I mean? It's just like I don't want to. She's just, you know, like using like nice language to kind of manipulate me. Like, please, yeah. you know. Like that, know. that, that is not exclusive just to, um, you know, family business just in general, you, you know, you can find that a lot with employers. They're, they're just trying to take advantage of you any way they can get squeeze extra value, you know? Yeah. Nasty. Yeah. Nasty. Somebody said, did I get any severance package? I don't, I don't, I don't think there's going to be any severance package. <laughs> I don't think there's uh, any severances when you get fired. Right. Right. Yeah. Especially, I mean. It's 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 freaking funny, but hey, I, I you know weren't wearing a watch, Tim, because otherwise that would kind of ruin it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, <laughs> well, I had my Explorer one, so I was feeling good. Damn, I knew you never should have got that. You see, Tim, you never should have got that bloody <laughs> Explorer. <laughs> uh, Tim, tell tell them it's one thousand a day. It's not on the very. <laughs> uh, Quicker than draw five bucks. Two tone Tim fund is now two months rent fund. Save your nickels and dimes. But you know, like the lifestyle kind of I want to I want to have is I don't really need much money to survive. And it's also I I told them like it's the best time to actually for me to be fired because this YouTube gig it does kind of cover all the the necessities. You know what I mean? Like food and shelter and that's kind of all i need i got i got my watches i got my cutest to keep doing these live streams so that's pff, right that's that's all you need and uh yeah a uh, grendel 60 i think these are uh these are quartz grain seikos uh, makes the best quartz but also feel they're overpriced at the price point i'd save a bit more and go for the spring drive much different experience totally agree yeah. So should we get into Jonathan's watches? Let's get yes. Them. Yes. Let's get Jonathan. So, you you got them? I'm uh, yeah. I'll I'll uh, I'll put the the microphone up now very high. Okay. Uh, one second. I'll Let me get Alex that. on here. Alex, hello. Hey guys, how are you? Hey, we're doing great. So first of all, I I have a Rolex Submariner uh, ceramic here. Okay. Uh, as a kind of reference. Okay. So. All right. Can you guys hear this? Yeah. Yeah, we can hear it really loud. Okay. Yeah, it might be and... a bit too loud. That's the problem. <laughs> I apologize. Now the Seiko. Wait, what Submariner was that? Uh, normal Submariner date with ceramic. Okay. 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 Now, what is this? That's the Seiko. Oh, okay. 
it's like a it's a little it bit does, more discreet yeah it does have some distinct clank uh, like you can you can hear each each uh, ratchet yeah mm. so gs superman which which watch comes next you know uh, i mean how, how many uh Marco, how many Grand Secos does uh, GS Superman have? Uh, that's a good... I don't even know. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure he'll put it into the chat. Yeah. <laughs> he has a, quite a collection because uh, for the past couple of... For the past week, I've seen quite a few. I was thinking like... Uh, well, he is the, the GS, the Grand Seiko Superman. But I was thinking like, oh, a little bit too many, but hey. Well, no, that image in his avatar is yeah. called the Grand Seiko Superman. Right. That, that watch there. Yeah. There's somebody asking if I have a spring drive. Yes, I have it. So, so uh, like I said before, the SBGA413. And uh, I also have a highlight, which is the SBGZ003. And, uh, but uh, I haven't received the watch, but it's ready at the dealer and it's waiting to be picked up. So I have two uh, two spring drives. Oh, GS Ooh. Superman says next watch for him is the Paddock Philippe 5320. That's Jeez. the one. Yeah, he asked us between this and a Platinum Long One Moon Phase, I think it was. Uh -huh. And I think pretty much everybody universally said, besides... Ooh. um. Besides, what's his name? Jesus. Uh, Design Atelier. Mm. Everyone pick the paddock. This is just, it's its incredible. Oh, man, who? who which which Longa Moonface was it, was are it we talking? Platinum Brian BKT? With the Grand Longa Moonface. Grand Longa? Uh, Brian, no, no, Brian BK. Brian BK. Brian BK, okay. Yeah, this, is, this watch is freaking incredible. Amazing. I can pull up that Longa that I know... What's the name? Jonathan will be partial the longer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy. I would pick the longer. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you just real quick. This is the the Seiko in Jonathan's hand. Yes, it's the one we're talking about right now. So you can see. Huh? Now, what I like is that now the indices they're not of the best quality. To be honest, uh, I think if Seiko just increase the quality even a little bit more another thousand and made these out of like white gold or something man i would freaking love Tim, it but Tim, we're I talking think, about a one thousand three hundred dollars right no no i i understand no and that's what i'm saying like for a thousand dollars that's actually really yeah. high quality and, and can you can you um zoom into the hands because the hands are there's actually a bevel right no, no, they are half brushed and half polished. Oh no way! Yes, I thought I thought there was a, they were like pyramid a little bit. But... No, half brushed. Wow, half brushed. wow, because that must it... be nice for visibility. It is. Mm. Oh, that's incredible! I don't think I've ever heard of that on a watch. Like half. Yeah, half. it's interesting. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I've never seen that before. Huh. I know. I know. Paddock has the. Uh, triple finish on on the new uh calatravas right oh yeah but, but uh you know i mean it costs, uh, <laughs> it costs so much money to do that now uh just really quick here's the the clasp of this watch as you can see it it is kind of half stamped half milled by the looks of it it's and there little, is it's actually milled it's uh, there is oh. nothing, nothing stamped so it, it's oh. really solid Okay, and there's a diver's extension. Is there yeah. is there a micro extension or it's a full diver's extension? Uh, it's a full diver's extension, and there is a micro extension uh, on on the other side of the the buckle. Oh, okay. What kind of micro extension is it? How does it work? So you can see uh, with, with holes, just like the old Rolex. Oh, with just holes, oh, yeah. just the okay. Mm, okay. Yeah, I would prefer like a five mil, but. Wait, or, uh, accuracy is plus minus twenty seconds on this piece. Yeah, but um, but any any Seiko will beat that uh, in in real life. I have no idea why they put out those numbers. I've never had a Seiko that was running that badly. Ah, uh, they're just trying to be safe, you know. Just yeah, they, they don't want humble. warranty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
they don't want people to uh, to come and hark on them. One thing, one thing that you don't have to worry about with the Seiko is accuracy. Mm. So there we go, guys. This is quite a you quite a respectable piece. Wait, was this limited edition? How how difficult no. was it to get this one at retail? No, it, it, easy, easy, and I didn't pay retail. Oh, you got it oh, under retail? Pardon? Under or over? Was it oh, uh, under? Under. Under, under retail? Huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know what? I think, you know, if you're in the market for, you know, a thousand dollar watch, this is a really good yeah. option. Obviously, yeah. that's sort of, you know, you could say that's a no man's land. Some people like to go it's under like or over. It's like the only, right. and actually, Oris is starting to make some good thousand dollar pieces, but. but yeah, but th I think a thousand, you know, for some people, um mm. you know if they're students or something or you know they just they don't want to spend five thousand on a watch you yeah. know it's it's a decent you know good watch um or it can be like a you know if you're comfortable with a thousand dollar beater it could be a beater yeah, yeah. actually um, what, what, what people don't see the uh, the bezel is really of a of a very high quality look and and feel look at the coin edge around which is really nice yeah, and I even see it like the the brushing and actually the bracelet does like because w when when I pulled up that blue one, you could see actually the the work on uh, like the the, don't, the lugs. Don't zoom, zoom in that much. People can copy my fingerprints. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, no, the bracelet looks actually kind of high quality ish. Not not like Rolex quality, it's, but it's, it's not, not as Rolex bad. Quality, but it's it's yeah. pretty solid and, and heavy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can actually see it's it. Not wrong. Flimsy at all. Yeah, it's not flimsy at all. What is also nice? What is also nice is the the uh, the uh, the screw in crown, the the lock up crown. Um, yeah. It it uh, works really smooth. It, there, it's no comparison to an SKX where it's sometimes yeah. a little bit sticky or difficult um, to put on. So this mm. uh, watch is really on a different quality level uh, compared to a three hundred dollar. Yeah, the, the crown looks like it's very easy to set. Like it's yeah, really like, good knurling. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, and like let's not get too crazy. You know, Seiko is notorious for having the the bezel misaligned with the minute markers. Yes. Um. So oh, yeah, if you get one aligned, you're lucky. Uh, yeah. You know, there are, there are problems with it, but you know, it's a thousand dollar watch, so you know you can make some compromises. Perf luxury five dollar super chat. Lots of uh poopy watches for more money, Tim. Yeah, right. Exactly. Uh, you could always be buying eight thousand five hundred dollar gorilla that thinks it's a Schumacher AP, <laughs> yet it's powered by Eta twenty eight ninety two. By the way, that that gorilla watch it's not only powered by Eta, it's also got like a a module chronograph. Which just sits on top of it, so it, it's just re—it's it's actually really cheap and nasty. Um, it, the the only thing that that's worth anything is the finishing on on that Eta and uh, the module, but and design it does kind of was stolen from the AP in some way. And Mister GMT twenty bucks super chat small donation to help you along your road to unemployment. That's right. Well, I'm already <laughs> as a, already am, but uh, yeah, this is going to be really helpful for the for the what's it called the 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 hostel hostel stays because I do have to stay four times in town to recharge batteries and upload vids. So, Thank you very much, Mister GMT, my friend. Mister G and GS Superman with another one hundred dollars wow. super chat. I, I think he's Jeez. gonna hit the the super chat daily limit soon. <laughs> be careful yeah, with credit cards. Yeah, we, we don't want we don't want he's you to. Have, he's gonna have to lose the, the to, to PayPaling. <laughs> what does uh another one hundred? So what does the crew think of Tim Masso spruiking Bregge? especially marco what do you think about that it's really uh i think it's great because they're diverting attention away from vacheron constantin which is my favorite brand and everything from vc is uh way too expensive nowadays but i think it's listen it's a great uh it, it's a great thing because Breguet is a great brand extremely overlooked in my opinion and um you know 
I think what you see is more people starting to get into that high horology segment. And I think Breguet is super accessible for really, really high quality. So, yeah, I mean, mm. I don't blame him for, for spruiking him. Wait, is he getting like a like a deal? Is he going to be working for a little bit uh, oh, sh- sh- on the side? No, I don't think so. That, that's not how it works, Tim. That's not how it works. By the way, I think, personally, I think Bashran Constantine and uh, uh, Alex is on the waiting list for, for one of the, the Vashrans. Alex, so how's, how's the waiting list going? Yeah, so it should be only two months. And they give me the estimation of a waiting time for six months. So hopefully months. I can get it by... Yeah, until the end of the year. Okay. Now, yeah, it's, it's been has... only two months, but I feel like I've been waiting for about two decades. <laughs> <laughs> Man, now, I, I don't know when it's going to come in. You know, all of these brands like uh, Paddock, AP, and uh, Vashran Constantine, Vashran has finally got the winner with the overseas. It feels like all these brands, to, in order to be taken seriously, they, they have to have that steel sport. And Breguet actually kind of lacks a true steel sport. Oh, they just have the Marine, but the Marine is not super well re- well regarded by... Yeah, like, look, like, I open group. it up here, and what, what do we see? Is there a Marine? No. Yeah, it's Where right there it? on the left. I mean, row. yeah, and the problem with it is the Roman numerals. Is that I mean, it looks like a dress watch. Yeah, like you ask a normal person, is that a dress watch or a sports watch? They're gonna say it's a dress watch. Yeah, it's not it's a- on rubber. It's not present it's at least it's not advertised as uh so like like look look, it literally blends in with everything. And I also think because they basically they took the dial from their either classic or yeah, right. Like it's they just they they're reusing the classic dial in the marine, and that's the problem. They didn't come up with an original design because you look at Vashran, right? The overseas does not resemble, you know, their other watches. Right? It's just a purely original design, right? And I think. Yeah. That's I think one of the biggest things holding Breguet back are those lugs, Tim. I mean, I've talked about this. No. Nauseam, yeah. But it's just like they do nothing other than just straight lugs. Mm. They don't turn at all. So it's just such an awkward fit. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. it's really, I think, in my opinion, really holding them back from reaching but, that but higher. But the side view on these lugs is, is quite nice. Um, I've, I've been after a Breguet for over 30 years. And yeah. uh, unfortunately, I didn't uh, uh, pull the trigger uh, one year ago when they were cheap. Tim, can you pull up the reference 3130 from Breguet? 3130. I think uh, uh, I Lange does uh, straight lugs a little bit better. Oh, absolutely. I agree. Uh, so that right is... Here. That is the the power reserve uh, moon phase, and this watch could be had for less than ten thousand dollars a year ago, and mm. I was I was bargaining too hard, um, and miss missed out one. This is, in my opinion, classic Breguet because it's based on a pocket watch. Basically, they, mm. they took the design, and the guy called uh, Daniel Roth, uh, uh, Roth, who has his own watch company. Yeah, now, one of the best independents out there. For sure. He revived uh, Breguet, and he took that uh, design and, and put it in into a, a wristwatch. And uh, this is, in my opinion, typical Breguet. It's beautiful, uh, it yeah. Better than that. Yeah, there is actually a modern iteration of this, too, now. Yes, there is the a bigger one. There's a bigger one with, I think, with a blue dial now or something right. like that. And the power reserve is turned. It's like more, yeah. Uh, right, yeah. But this yeah, they, is absolutely perfect in my opinion. I, I, like I, a, have a, I have a hand painting in, in, in one of my rooms. Uh, one one of my this. staff uh, uh, painted that. She, she, she was an artist and she did that for me. Tim, uh. do, you, do you see any faces here? Uh, um, no, actually, here I don't see any faces. <laughs> My favorite, huh. but it's still pretty expensive, Tim. I don't know if you want to pull it up. It's yep. the 7337. Uh, can you that. pull it up? 
Yeah, sure, um, sure, sure. Because uh, I, I actually, you know, this watch kind of looks like the the Jigel de Couture, right? There's a there's an ultra thin, right, with very similar kind of complications, but not as classy as this. But I guess the original because they came out 35 years ago with that kind of, of design. By the way, I do have like a like something to say. Like, I I, I just I just thought of this. You know how like. All the brands are that they have the steel sports. They're really at the top right now, right? And you know how uh, uh, Patek Philippe—they're kind of they're pulling out of steel sports because they're worrying that they don't want the steel sports to or like you know take over their brand and them to be known for their steel sports. Um, it could just be that. In few years, the steel. I mean, a few years, maybe in ten years, I don't know, twenty years, maybe the brands that stuck to their guns and didn't follow the trends will actually be on top. So it's quite possible that, you know, things uh, might flip for Breguet. They might be down today, but they might be up tomorrow. Let's see here. Oh, that's the BB eight. <laughs> Tim officially, well, actually, it, uh, it, I posted on Instagram and then somebody said it. So I brought it up to Tim. It's like, oh, yeah, it's the BB. Exactly. It looks exactly like And BB-8. this is also inspired by old Brea Pocket yep. Watch. Mm. I like this a lot. You get triple guilloche finish. I was looking at this one. I shared it with the uh, Cooler Feed. I don't know if you remember, but it was this one right here in rose gold. And it was twenty six thousand Canadian, and the retail is fifty four thousand. <laughs> yep, <laughs> which is nuts. I mean, that's that's here you go. That's a better picture. Like again, you get triple guilloche finish. Uh, I think oh, the movements yeah. are what Frederick Piguet, if I'm not mistaken. It's like that three quarter movement. There you go. And yeah. it's gorgeous. This is gorgeous. The the only you know the problem with Breguet is that. You know, they're pretty much all dress watches. But then for that money, there is competition in other brands, Patek, um, Lange, etc. So, mm. you know, they're they're beautiful, but they're, you know, they do have competition. Pretty strong competition. Yeah, yeah Breguet, yeah, it's just because of the lack of steel sports. Breguet doesn't have that classic, <laughs> you know, that, that Gerald Genta inspired steel sports right now. I think that's why they're... The- Type 20 lineup, type 20, type 21. Type 20, it's it's okay, but it's their military kind of inspired watch. They don't have the it's Gerald cheapen. Genta. Can I tell you something no. about the uh, the type 20? Uh, let, let me just catch up with okay. these yeah. super chats and chats. We got on her own time in the chat. Guys, check out the YouTube channel. Where is the video? She Where? posted her first one, she actually. Did? When did she do she- it? Yesterday, last <gasps> night, she sneaked it in there, Tim, when nobody was what? watching. Guys, yeah. go check it out. Can we? Can you post the link? Can you post the link just real quick? Sure, sure, sure. On her own time, oh, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to watch it after this stream. We've got Perf Luxury Hamilton is nothing versus Schumacher, right, Jonathan? Uh, yes, totally right. Totally agree. Mm. Schumacher was was uh, and still is uh, on his own league. Um, Hamilton uh, can win as many titles as he wants. Uh, mm. He never was really in a in a car that was uh, that was not competitive. Uh, mm. Schumacher uh, showed how it's done in a in a car which is not the number one competitive car. Mm. She can't join the stream right now, but maybe later. Uh, maybe on the Archie show, or maybe on the after show. We got Jay Wright, D D D that. De- Destined, destitute, donation, go for it. Hey, man, thank you. The two bucks. Man, that's going to pay for the pizza. For the pizza. You know, I will need some pizza. Mark P with 10 pounds. Super chat. Have an amazing trek, Tim. Well deserved. So enjoy it. Question for the panel. Thoughts on Paddock. 5960 versus 5205. Are they worth the money? And which do you think is the best? Both blue dials. And if I, not, you, you should also include in here the, the 5905, which is the uh, the replacement to the 5960. 
Whew. Yeah, but five nine oh five is more a lot more expensive than this. I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Mm, I don't know because it'll be it'll be gold. This is steel. Uh, well, the fifty nine sixty comes in every metal, so right. you, know, you got to compare oh. like for like. Oh, which one do you guys like more? Is the, that blue the brown? Dye, right? You said blue dye. Both oh, blue, oh. yeah. Oh, 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 I see. Uh, is there... Oh, okay. So there you go. There's two of them side by side. Right, but this will be steel, I'm pretty sure, and this is white gold. Mm. That that there, I believe that is the fifty nine oh five. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that's the fifty nine oh five. Actually, this one is in platinum. Sorry. Right. We've got the diamond. Damn. Oh, sorry. Let me let me take the the super chat off. Um, Whew. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make a quick poll for the for for the punters. I think I'd probably get the fifty nine sixty because you got a chronograph plus annual calendar. And that 5205 is still pretty expensive, especially the blue dial one. But isn't the, isn't the chronograph just a module? Yeah, but who cares? You get an additional complication. Uh, for but roughly, for a, oh, I, yeah, I disagree. I would go 5205 uh, 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 5205 because the lunar calendar, and I don't like module chronographs. That's fair. That is fair. Uh, can you bring up that picture one more time? Because I'm gonna drop the poll just uh, for people to quickly answer the poll question. Which one well, they, this, they would well, go let's for? Let's do it. Compare it because he wants five two hundred five versus fifty nine sixty, right? Oh, oh, okay. So this is the fifty two hundred five, and then right. the fifty nine sixty is. Here, let's just bring up. Oh, I thought be, wait. this right here. Wait, yeah, that's the that old? was fifty two hundred five. The fifty two hundred five is the one I just had pulled up. Here, hold on. Let me see if I can't find a picture of it. Hey, can we have okay. both of them at the same time? Damn it. Uh, ooh, people saying 5205. I like the one with the red because uh, the way the contrast, the contrast, it just looks so good. Oh, okay. This one's got the, the little moon. Okay, okay. I got you. The, the, the picture that you had. It, no the, chronograph. It, 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 so, so ah, the there's no chronograph. Right. Yeah. Um, it's annual yeah, no. calendar versus annual yeah. calendar chronograph. Yeah. Damn, that's tough. That's tough. Mm. I do like, I like this one more. Me too. I like the 5960. 5960. Not because it's a more complicated watch, but there's just something about that red on blue. This it is just steel. Makes it, right? yeah. yeah. And it's and, steel, and steel sports versus steel white sports, gold. steel sports. Yeah. And the other one is uh, white gold. Yep. Yeah. And that Mark. blue one, it was just recently released. So I'm pretty sure it's so very expensive. But it's a 5960 01G. G is a white gold. Mm. 5960. Mm. Oh, this is. Oh, yeah, right. It is G. It gold. might also be white gold. Mm. Maybe the white dial is steel, actually. I might be mistaken. I thought this was steel. Ah, I mean, look, they, they all look steel. They're not, they're not like, they don't look yellow or rose gold. So it's, it could be platinum or white gold. Doesn't really, doesn't really matter. It looks like a steel sports. That's the most uh, important the thing. Steel, yeah, the steel one is the white dial with these red hands. Oh, I got you. And there's, a, and there's also a black dial, I think. Well, let's pull up the price difference. Let's pull up the price difference. Yeah. And I, man, that, the red on blue just pops Whew. I think you can you can't kind of go wrong with either one uh but oh these are not cheap these are hot 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 steel <laughs> okay, so, so it's like 70 oh it's actually not 70 Canadian right 70 60 Canadian. It's like 60 US. Let me put in US dollars for you guys. It's yeah, so annoying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You know, there's 50,000. Oh, 50, Dude. Oh, but we'll, that's ridiculous. That's actually really, really cheap because 5170 goes for the same price. So it's the same price in blue. Wow. That's why. So you get an extra chronograph complication. Mm. 
for roughly the same price. Jeez. Oh, actually, they're, it's a little more expensive, but you know, roughly. Just, just a tad. Just yeah, tat. it's a couple thousand, which at this yeah. price point is kind of you're indifferent to a couple thousand, let's be honest. Yeah, definitely go for the... I mean, you do have to... Uh, there's, there's a reason why they're almost the same price because the, the servicing cost is going to be a little bit more expensive on the calendar chrono. So you know, There's actually another 5960p but not the one JJ has. It actually has a blue dial. The blue dial, yeah, yeah. So there are. But two... those are extremely expensive. Mm, Climber says it. It kind of looks like a red on blue yacht master. Yep, it's got but that. I, I think we can all agree that this whole model line is mm. amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's super modern. You know, you got. It's very, you know, it's very clean. You you glance and you can tell all the information. You don't have Look to. The dial. <laughs> Look, Isn't I don't that... think you... I don't think you can go wrong with any 5205, 5905 or 5960. I think they're all amazing. Jeez. So fucking amazing. Man, you know what? <sighs> Wait, but check check the price for 5170. What's wrong? What what's going on? Forget, why, why don't you get the 5170? It's going to be so expensive. That's what I'm saying. What, like, that, it makes no sense. How is this almost same price as 5170? Pa Paddock does classify chronographs as a as a, Brand a higher yeah higher complication than calendars. Look at this. It's the same price. Yeah, but that, that is a full con uh, constructed chronograph. That is not a module chron chronograph. I'd, I'd take that um, any uh, any day of the week over, over the mm. end. Is it, it's probably also the movement. You, you, you turn yeah. that movement. Ooh. Yeah, this was their answer to the longer data graph, right? Yeah, look at the yeah. movement, guys. So that's the question. Do you go for, for the, what was it, the 50? To... the 5960 59, the 5205 but yeah. maybe he doesn't like the 5172 no i mean that's the question that's the question total, totally different look mm. right yeah it is but they're both paddock what do you guys think what do you guys think this is a lot more dressy the other one's a lot more sporty because i think 5205 right. that's like we eliminated that right 5960 is the one to go out of those two mm, now the yeah, question yeah, is i mean yeah, well, I mean, if you if you can't afford the fifty nine sixty, I see nothing wrong with the fifty two oh five. No, I think you should just get us, just drive an Uber, uh, you know, <laughs> at night. <laughs> Second and third jar. A couple of weeks, yeah. <laughs> Come on, just you're almost there. You're almost there. It's <laughs> it's not even you know it's not even oyster perpetual price difference at at retail. Come on, you you're so close. So then the question becomes 5960 or 5170. Because that, man, and I'm shocked. Well, that there's well no 5170, then the question is why not get a lange? <laughs> Mark, Marco, what do you think about this comment here? You Which can't compare 5170 lateral clutch chrono. Whew. I mean... Plus, hoot. They're both column wheels, right? They're both column wheels. So the actuation will be still pretty smooth regardless. I, mm. I believe Paddock uses the lateral clutch on purpose. And the way... I don't know the details exactly, but I think the way they do it, they make it better than a vertical clutch. Or something like that. I don't know mm. the, the exact specifics. Small G says, do you go for 5170 or that data graph? Personally... <laughs> But guys, if you, if you you don't want to go fifty one seven year data graph, you know, let's go corn to Bosch and say, you know, like the guys asking for paddock, <laughs> we're bringing him down the other street. You know? <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. Out of yeah. all of them, I'd still choose my corn to Bosch. Tim, corn one day I want to own it. One day I want to own it in steel. Mm. Bring it up, bring it up, so that people can see the dreams, the dreams. Corn, yeah. the Vash with those horns, the horns. <sighs> Whoo! Actually, you know the price is ten thousand, uh, almost fifteen thousand cheaper than the paddock. Well, Fifty-one seven. Yeah. And this movement is actually—it's hmm. the three-two-one movement. 
Jeez. So it's the Lamagna 2310 of Bosch. Damn. But yeah. It's finished too. It's what it's what Paddock used in the 5070. Mm, yeah. It's beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Uh Neferion. Absolutely correct. Lateral clutch is premium paddock chrono and generally it looks better too. Yeah, I, th I think the when you turn it around, that because it's not automatic, because it's manual wine, it's got that city, the, the you know, the the classic, like as if you're looking down at New York City or something, uh, backside. Can't, I mean, it's it's hard, but then you get so much more for your money, with uh, you know, was it the fifty two oh five and fifty nine sixty? Yeah, fifty nine sixty. You get so much more. Right, you do have you have to get the chronograph and the whole annual calendar. Damn, Jamie J, eleven euro super chat, lads. This deal is lined up for me to do on Monday. What do you advise? Part X, my twenty nineteen Aquanaut fifty one sixty seven R, twenty seventeen Calatrava fifty one nineteen J. 2016 day just 116233 plus 31000 dollars cash for 2021 paddock 5231 j unworn can we bring this up on the screen yeah that's the police now world cup Jesus Christ. The problem is, is you're departing with a lot of pieces, which is my only worry. Is there anything left in the collection? Oh, my <laughs> God. I That's... mean, the short answer is no question about it. I would do this oh in a heartbeat. Dude, I mean, this watch, this is legend. This absolutely legend. You know, you know what? You can have this and the steel sports. And that's all you need. That's all you need. Yep. That's all. You freaking need in your life let's be honest like we can have massive collections but this is the kind of thing you could have just one and two so i i think for this watch like if it was just regular world time or or something or something else uh a, a kind of a sacrifice would not be needed but this is the thing the question is wait um now let's see the list your firstborn is not included in that list okay good so <laughs> Who needs a kidney, Jamie? Just throw <laughs> that in. Forget the thirty-one thousand. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy, man! This could be a, a million-dollar watch. The problem is, is I think of the future value of that Aquanaut. I'm like, uh, you know what uh, I mean? But like, the, but wait, that's no just question. regular steel. No, the Aquanaut. Oh, rose gold, rose gold, rose gold. Yeah, 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 rose gold. R. But yeah, hundred yeah. percent. No question. Yes, hundred percent. Well, it's just a generic I, Aquanaut will never be as valuable as the Khaleesi. Well, I would put it like this: I, I would, I, we can say yes, trade those watches for that watch. I don't know about the dollar figures. You know, that would take some research. Yeah. But uh, what is this okay. retail? What What is this uh, on the on the Chrono? Let's pull it up. I think it's two thirty. I think it's six figures, right? At least it went up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness! Yeah, cheapest yeah, so you'll get is a hundred, hundred seven thousand. Mm. So I didn't do the math. What? What about that? Uh, what about the Aquanaut 51 67? Yeah, because that's gonna be the most expensive piece in in there. Oh. It's quite expensive. Well, let's go for the cheapest one. Come on, because this is way overpriced. They're not. They're not really worth this as much. Oh, there's a lot of steel ones in there. But like this deal sounds like it's 60. going to a dealer, right? So you're yeah, you're selling at that. wholesale and you're buying retail, right? It's but, seventy thousand, Tim. Yeah, seventy. You know, it's not cheap. I know. I know. Well, is he mm. buying it at retail? Is he buying it at retail? No, no, no. I mean, um. You know, you when you make a deal with a dealer, you're you're paying yeah. you know you're paying premium on the watch you're getting, and he's paying you less. So it's like on the trade ins. It's like sixty thousand. Yeah, but what, is, what about the college gouging this poor guy. He's kind of price gouging him. Well, well, let's do let's do quick math. I mean, uh, what? The... Okay, so let's consider 
let, let's let's go to one hundred twenty thousand, right? One hundred twenty, yeah, because you want box yeah. papers, everything. And so we're talking and, and seventy-five thousand. Take off a little because it's chrono, right? You can take off like five, five or ten percent. Right, right. So let's say seventy-five thousand is the Aquanaut. Yeah. Plus thirty thousand. Plus the, the Paddock Calatrava. There's your hundred twenty thousand. You're throwing a dangerous yeah. on top. Yeah, that and, just and seems to be a little bit too much. Yeah. Yeah, it seems expensive, man. Thirty thousand cash extra. Yeah, thirty one. I, I would definitely yeah. re review those figures before doing the dollar figure deal. Yeah, it's expensive. I think he's throwing away like I just said ten to twenty thousand. I think it's about twenty or more. Yeah. Now, does he have to? Uh, what they? I want to know what else is in the collection. Two. Yeah, one one six two. It's probably a day just two. Well, basically, the um, the Aquanaut is, is let, let's say sixty five. The Calatrava is twenty. That's a two tone day just. But ooh, it's, it's a two tone, -tone day just. It's true. It's the three. And what then, the? F then there was even more than that. No. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, Oh. Am I getting this wrong? The Aquanaut, let's say, is 65. The Calatrava is 20. Yeah. It's 85. The Datejust is like... 12, much, let's 12? just say. Let's just say 12, because okay, they retail so at 14. 100,000. Uh, the Patek is worth 120, 125. So... Oh, but you forgot also, he's throwing in 30,000 cash on top of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but... Um, I think the the deal is maybe six thousand dollars short uh, to the value of of his watches that he's trading in. Uh, so if if he can make it twenty five, oh, fifty two thirty one is unworn. Yeah, as well, and an unworn uh, uh, Patek would be like one hundred twenty five to uh, one hundred thirty. Okay, it so makes a little bit. It makes a little bit more sense. Can we can we like bring down the cash to like maybe twenty five thousand? Yeah. Is there any way you can do twenty five thousand? Like I'd, that would be. Yeah, I'd all, I'd also put it like this: if if the dealer lined up this um deal, you know, you got to haggle it. You can't just take his yeah. first offer. Yeah. Yeah. He's always gonna start, you know, with with the uh, fisting you essentially. And actually, if it's if it's a dealer, we are talking now about uh, 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 selling prices, so. Yeah. If if that is the deal, uh, the dealer basically makes six thousand on this entire deal, which is not overly greedy, in my opinion. No, he's making more than that, Jonathan. You valued a fifty-one sixty-seven at sixty thousand. There's no way it sells 65. for sixty. Okay, but it sells all day on Chrono for seventy-five thousand. Yeah, that's the thing. The the, the Aquanaut. There's no problem. 000. Yeah, there's no problem in selling the Aquanaut. That's a really hot selling watch. Mm -hmm. uh, versus something that's so expensive. I mean, if it's like six thousand for six thousand, you can literally fly to Hong Kong and pick up that. And, and also, like, is he gonna wear this culture? Because if, he, if he's gonna wear it, I mean, I don't well, know. I don't if, know about wearing it too. <laughs> Let's be right. So, <laughs> I mean, he's getting it on. We can look at it. You know what I mean? We can look at it. <laughs> sure, sure. But I would wear it. I would want to wear this thing. I mean, for six thousand, I would just fly to Hong Kong or what? What's what? What other countries are there? Estonia or I would just yeah. fly there and get the 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 worn one. What is the retail on the pad on the world time? You can't get it retail. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah, it's for exclusive clients only. I mean, you have to be V V V V V I P. So I I'm assuming that means it goes over retail. I mean, it's not as bad as we thought because it's unworn. And also the future potential of this watch is just ridiculous. The 2019 price was 73710 but it's definitely more than that at this point. 100% more than that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, listen, I would do the trade. I would just offer way less cash, like 20000 25000 cash. Somewhere in that ballpark yeah. is a lot more fair for you, and it's still fair for the dealer. Yeah, if it's twenty five, then it's like pfft, no question. Yeah, yeah, right. Because like for that six thousand, you can just fly and and pick up from another dealer and save yourself. Uh, you can have you can throw a party to celebrate. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, let's just come on. Tell him I like. I just want to know what else is in the collection. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, because he's giving away a lot of watches. You know? Yeah. Like, I I can see like Kali Trava fifty one nineteen. Yeah, I would like part with that. Yeah, yeah, right. That's not. Yeah, that's going to be hard to sell. Rose gold Aquanaut. I mean, steel sports Rolex. That's yeah. what it's all about, guys. You know what I mean? They just two tone. That's like yeah, ah, you get rid of that. Yeah, flick that off. Uh, the cash, the cash, though. Alex, I'm with what, the what, He says, I like the Laurent Ferrier Traveler for this type of watch. 100%. Hmm. I love that one. He's got the enamel one, too. Let's bring it up. But they're kind Alex, of expensive. That's the problem. Sorry, go ahead. What go ahead. What was Alex saying? Hmm. Alex? Oh, I was saying I, I wouldn't like go to 5167R. This one is nice. You'd keep it? Yeah, of course. Mm. Yeah. But it's hot today. It could it can wear out later. Like I don't think there's there's not much collectability. Uh there's not too much collectability to the Aquana. It's just it's a flexing watch at the moment. The market on that could collapse. Whereas the the Khaleesi that will I think look, it's gonna be collectible for the rest of life. Can you go to the dial here, Marco? Yeah, what sure. is this? It's the only problem is is this, these pictures are garbage. Hold on, let me pull up a better picture. There you go, Jamie. Uh, use that information how you find fit. So there's Think. a couple. There's this one here. Yeah, Russell nine nine six says please say cloisonné correctly, and that's the, the sure. correct. Cloisonné, am I am I cloisonné? Is that good? There you go. Hmm. I speak French, by the way. I speak French. I, I should stop. I, I really do the bad pronunciations, you know, the lazy ones. But yeah, you took it over. Yeah, yeah. The, the the Quebec way. I really should stop. I really have to stop doing the lazy pronunciations. The, the <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. 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 Good. He said thank you. Solid advice. Going to go in for less cash. Yeah, that's right. Because and you can you you can tell them him like I understand they just. And uh, the paddock, there might be a little bit more difficult to sell. But the steel, you know, the, the rose gold uh, Aquana, that's a hot, hot, hot watch. He can probably jack up the price on that one. He probably has already someone who's going to buy it from him. So that one is good and ready to go. And just a little bit more cash, a little bit less cash because, you know, you're going to, at the end of the day, you're going to wear this, uh, this watch. So there's no, re there's no, you can you can say you consulted wristwatch specialists. The community. The community. <laughs> the community <laughs> has spoken. The community said 25k Tim, cash. Tim, next time you should wear your own shirt with the community on. By the way, the, the guy who made the community is making me a second edition of that t-shirt. So uh Tim, yeah, Tim, this thing is addictive. I keep smelling it every <laughs> once in a while. It's kind of bad. It's giving me a headache. You know what I mean? <laughs> Tim, so if, if, if the larger community, yes. right, then what is this, uh, your channel here? Are we the communistity? Yeah. <laughs> this is the in, it's a part of the community, the com communistity. <laughs> the followers of my channel are the <laughs> communistity. Oh, it's so good. I I like these two um, Laurent Ferriers with the border. Uh, Jamie says, yeah, to be too. fair, I won't wear it too much. That doesn't matter. Once you put it on the wrist, it becomes worn. and No longer unworn condition. This one is my favorite by far. Oh. This is nice. Yeah. Laurent Ferrier. I good thing is about this is it's not like the Bruce Wayne. You actually have a quick mm -hmm. second date. You don't have to cycle through the date. Each time, mm. which is really nice. Look at the crown, too. I like it. And the case is called the galet, which is French for a pebble that's been smoothed over by a river over thousands of years. And it's exactly kind of what it looks like if you like look at it. The case the is so... It's beautiful. Why does it have two date windows? No, no, that's the second time zone. It's oh. the second time. And the two Ooh. pushers, you can is change... 24 it. hour? Yes, in 24 hour time. That's cool. That's really cool. 
Huh. And the finish on the movement is exquisite. It's got a micro order. I think mm-hmm. I think Laurent Ferrier is under, uh, like it's not talked about enough in the independent Oof. space. Well, I mean, he's only been around ten years, and to be fair, he's talked about quite a bit. But yes, I agree. He definitely should be talked more. Like I, I could see in the future LF getting not not two FB Jorn levels, but I could see them approaching that space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's got his son working with him, which means, you know, the brand has some semblance of continuity. And his son is actually very smart. He worked for a major brand also. I just don't know what. Uh, Hold on. No, I can't remember. But I know he worked for a major brand in movement development also. So he helps Laurent with uh, all the movements. Mm. Oh, we got Kurt Antonini. Five bucks. If this community... Tim is Donald Glover and Archie is Chevy Chase. Nice. <laughs> uh, and Mark P, five pounds. Tim, why don't you hand over your channel to Marco and JJ when you go away? Make it a community channel, but seriously, <laughs> collaborate. Um, I, well, I think I'm, me and JJ will be doing the live yeah. shows. Yeah, they'll they'll be doing it on their on their channels to get the the super chats, guys. Well, the the time slot, the time slot, I'll I'll temporarily release. <laughs> yeah, it's good. We'll we'll let them catch up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. We we have to get you know JJ just got monetized, so he's he needs some super chats, super chats, maybe some super slaps. I like this one with also. It. It's the, called the classic origin in green. Mm. It looks amazing. It's like a British racing green bat. Ooh. Very classy green. Yeah. Amazing. But only problem is they kind of cheaped out a little bit in that it's a oh, Swiss what the hell is this? lever escapement as opposed to the natural escapement from Breguet's natural mm. escapement. So it's just a single impulsing escape wheel as opposed to two, which is... You know, it's got a unique movement, quote-unquote. What is that? What is, is that some kind of ma- what kind of material is that? It's uh, I don't know titanium case. I, I think it's a kind of coating, but uh, it might be not... ruthenium. You think it's ruthenium? I doubt it. Small G says can't buy Ferrier watch too similar to Anthony <laughs> Ferrer. <laughs> Anthony Ferrer, nice. Actually, in my opinion, Ant- Anthony Ferrer, his uh, last name should be failure. Ooh. Fa- failure. <laughs> Uh, I don't Damn. know about that. <laughs> I think he's a he's a Damn. pretty successful guy. Mm, I can't wait. I can't wait what the community does to him after the communion communion by Paul Thorpe. Communion. By, by the way, uh, Archie's going on in fifteen. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Fifteen minutes. Well, that's that's a lot of time, actually. What? The... Okay. Wait, I I can't even see it. How do you see it? What's going on? Huh. By the way, uh, I'm going to be, later today, I'm going to be on, uh, what's it called? On a casual watch talk channel, doing like a mini, mini interview. I don't know. I, I'm doing it for, to, 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 bra- to raise awareness of our community. Oh, Unfortunately, uh, it's going to be nine o'clock. So it's in three hours, in three hours from now. Watch I'm going to, oh, what's again? Yeah, I'm gonna link the, the the name of the channel is Casual Watch Talk. They talk about shitter watches, so which is which is okay. It's fine. We're gonna bring in some people from from their community over to our community. Wait, what kind of shitter? Don't, don't what kind of shitter? I don't know. Frederick Constantine. <laughs> Frederick, no, 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 not not the Frederick Constantine. That would be crazy. But they wanna they wanna do it a uh, quick quick and quick and uh, and dirty like 45 minutes so uh so it's just gonna be me but i'm gonna put in the good word and get our watch cardinal into the rotation and jj as well uh maybe i don't know if, if they'd I... like what i have to say about them. no that's <laughs> gonna be good you know their community <laughs> needs a little bit of roasting <laughs> Jim, I don't know if they'll like what I'll say about this watch. <laughs> uh, you know what? It's going to be a war. Logan Horse said, change the name of the WhatsApp group to the, the community. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, I will. The community. I love it. I love it. 
<laughs> By the way, Jonathan, I read your article on timwright.com about the blank pain, 50 fathoms. Yep. Yeah, I thought it was very well written. I learned a lot there. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was. Could you understand what I was trying to say? <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was well written. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the, the captain uh, took some polishing uh, on, on my choppy language, so I, I appreciate drop, that it was helpful. I'll drop the, the link to the article in the chat. Anyone would like to take a look? Oh, yeah. Thank you. By the way, guys, just... Yeah, you know, no, it might be the best article on timwright.com. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we have we have some short stories over there. Tim, we the invoice have... is on your way. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, if you want to post something, if you want to post uh, an article, if you want to write an article about watches and post it at timwright.com, just contact me over there, and I'll I will publish it. Okay, so it's it's free of charge. But if you want me to write something uh, about you, then that I'm gonna charge for that. But what? <laughs> My wife's asking me some question. I don't know. Uh, Tim is high on some serious shite. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I had to kind of. I needed something to help me relax. Mark P, five pounds panel. If you can only afford one thousand and love horology, what should they buy? And would you look down on them? No, I would never look look down on anyone who has no, or, you know, no money to be able to afford high high luxury watches uh they just have to be honest with it and boom right there marco brings up a really good watch for under a thousand dollars this tissot they kind of look like overseas on the mic you get the powermatic 80 yeah. movement i think this is fantastic for under a thousand dollars and it shows a lot of thought you know what i mean mm -hmm. I it's like cool. it's kind of like a a date just alternative with uh with a smooth bezel also their their new uh kind of royal oak yeah, the integrated, the integrated PRX, I think. The PRX, yep. Tissot. It's great. See, Look I'm at that. actually, I got to be honest with you guys. I'm not yeah. the biggest fan of this. I prefer the other one. Yeah. Like, yeah I no, like I it, but I prefer the other one. Yeah. I, I, it's the no, no. Version. You know, actually, the other one might be a little bit better because uh, as, as one, as kind of one watch, because you can get straps for it. This is integrated bracelet. Mm. It's more, you know, it's you have to be a little bit. It's it's hard to deal with this one. You're gonna have to get like a second watch later on. But this is great, great you watch. Oris Aquas for under a thousand. No, Oris no, Aquas? that's two. No, no, but actually, Oris has actually upped the quality on their cheaper watches. Man, they just released. Like, no, that's no, sad. I'm, that makes me sad. What about mm. Zin? Can you get like a Zin? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Under a thousand, I think this yeah, is also for... really good. Boom. Yeah, and there's one that looks like a Explorer One. It's probably a little bit cheaper. What's it called? I think five five six. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that pilot one. I don't love that one. The hands are kind of yeah. This is the one. Mm. And you uh, can get this one. I'm not the biggest fan of this. I have to be honest with you. Yeah. And, you know, it's uh, it's an option. Right. I think I take I think... the Seiko from the beginning with a with a rubber strap. Then it's two hundred less. Ooh, the Seiko, mm -hmm. the SBP one hundred forty-three. Okay, let me just. Yes, it's it's a lot of money for a Seiko, but it just shows a lot of love for the community, right? Yeah. You get something like this, you spend a thousand dollars for a Seiko. People say, "Look, this guy is <laughs> is serious. He is an enthusiast." How a good business there. That is well. That's really cheap. That he's. I mean, you can get three of these. Actually, you can get this. You can get a G Shock. You can have a. Uh, you can actually have a collection for a thousand dollars that community would really respect. Oh, dude, you can get this and the PRX because this one you can put on a rubber strap or you can really fight around with it. And mm -hmm. then you have PRX as your kind of a little bit higher class watch. 
You know, you know which other one I would throw in? You guys might <laughs> crucify me. <laughs> like, I think Christopher Ward is some decent value for under a thousand. Because you get Dude, a Should I pull it up? Ooh, you get a should I pull it up? <laughs> no, don't do, it. don't do it. The community will not <laughs> appreciate it. The community will not look at it. Communica- <laughs> community will excommunicate us. <laughs> Quicker than draw five bucks, look at design atelier Instagram. He has mock ups for a leather strap on a Tissot PRX Powermatic 80. Another reason why I bought one. Oh, because there's no, there, there isn't. Uh, uh, strap at the moment for the PRX, but there's probably people already making them uh, as we speak. So, actually, also shout out for to Design Atelier. Check out his YouTube channel. What does and, Hamilton make? I know Hamilton can make, ooh, definitely make stuff like that. Yeah, the co- the cocky, the cocky Hamilton cocky. You can never. Oh, that's a perfect uh field watch. Kurt Antonini, what do you guys think of uh, Yama oh, yes, like Navy this. Graph under a this thousand? This is the interstellar one. Right? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. How about the Longin? Longin Hydro Long You get that under a thousand? Oh, maybe quartz, right? Uh, maybe you can get used cans. Maybe. Yeah, you, you can get used. Used? Oh, look at that. It's just above oh, a thousand. Right. But I wouldn't go with this. Yeah, but that's Canadian. That's yeah, Canadian. Yeah, yeah, 1300 no. Canadian. This, this is like a cheap Breitling. No. Yeah. What? I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> she got food. And it's just Tell her to lay off you a little bit. You've had yeah. a rough past couple of days, man. Yeah. Just take it. People, the community asked, asked me to tell you to take it easy. <laughs> take it easy. Take a chill pill, yeah, man. 15 minutes. I'm coming back. 15 minutes. I don't, uh, yeah, I'm going to be done. I'm. I'm ending in like five minutes. Yeah, yeah, five minutes, five minutes. We got five minutes to go. <laughs> Just a little sharp. Oh, we got quick she draw. Like Coming in. <laughs> quick draw, Joy. How's it going, guys? <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> you know, I forgot Marco's oh, intro. So let me play oh, it. Oh yes, yeah, so what's my? <laughs> That's not my interest. <laughs> you turned that off. <laughs> you can't play that, Tim. Tim, I feel, neglect- I feel neglected. Can I have the Magnum PI tune? When I'm Magnum PI tune? Awesome. I'll try yeah, to get that would it. That's so try. fitting. <laughs> no, but uh, here, I'll, I'll, I'll link it. And oh, yeah? That if you want to see it. Magnum. Just real quick. It looks really, really nice. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, can you put it in the in the private chat? Yes, sir. It's already there. Oh, it's already here. Very good. Now, see, that's one brand I'm not on board with, Tim. Yama Navigraph. What is that? Let's pull it up. Yama Na- I never heard of it. This is something the community would not approve. <laughs> this is Rodent uh, One type of Yeah, this is Rodent One. Uh, then I can't stand it. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This reminds uh, me of... You know so- what it reminds me of? You know Glycine? They have the combat sub. Mm. Hey guys, I flipped that within three hours of buying it. I'm not even joking. <laughs> it was so bad. I was like, I'm never going to wear this thing. I just flipped it. But Marco, it's owned by Invicta. How could you flip it? Oh, it was <laughs> awful. It was, oh my goodness. Check this out, guys. This is the mock up that Design Atelier did. Whew! This looks pretty neat. Looks I think that does look nice. Amazing. Yeah, by the way, he's a Photoshop wizard. Look at this. He shows how he did it. Look at this. It's like you know, this is like a the cheaper version of a Zenith Defy. Amazing. This guy is incredible. Look at this. <laughs> My God. Pretty talented. Masterclass Photoshop. I need I need to hire this guy to make some t-shirts for me. Design Atelier. Reach the- out. The PRX is based on on a very old move, uh, uh, model that they used to have, um, but I, I still can't get uh, get over that design. I, I like the previous uh, Tissot uh, much better. The question is: Wait, uh, quicker draw. The, you can you can take the the bracelet off, right? You you showed me there is a like yeah. There's a little two little... yeah. There's two little um, <sighs> things to get your fingernails in there if they're long enough. And then 
quick. Nice. It's quick attach. So I think that they're future proofing. Okay, very so cool. Very cool. Likely. So it's possible. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it looks like an integrated bracelet, but they were smart enough to, to have it as detachable. Cool. Can you yeah. do that on yours, quick and draw? Yes. Yeah, I, in fact, I, I was trying to do it. It's just right now my fingernails are too short. Mm. But yeah, there's there's these two little latches. If you squeeze them together, it pops up. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Very cool. Kurt Antonini, the first TISO you posted looked like an IWC Mark uh, 18 and basically has better movement. What? Actually, it does. That it's is not true. Really <laughs> it doesn't have a better regulated movement, but in my opinion, the Powermatic 80 movement is actually pretty good. It's Ooh. a it's a modified ETA movement. ETA is better than Solita, I'm sorry to say. And it has Definitely. an 80-hour power reserve. It's just the, the regulation isn't as good. IWC Guys, people who say Solita are the same as ETA, it's wrong because Solita... It's a clone. It's technically a clone. It, it's a clone, but they didn't clone it 100%. They changed parts to make it cheaper, and it's shittier. Mm. They changed. They changed the what's it called? The architecture of it a little bit. Mm. So, you know, I actually the 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 thing though. Yeah, but this is. A, I I do like this watch, Tim. Even though I call yeah. it a Salita shitter, it's only because yeah. IWC price gouges you on the secondary yeah. market. These are a good bargain. Yeah, the thing is, there's some. Yeah, it's got the. It doesn't have the good movement, but the thing is that this watch has for it is the dial. And also, IWC is really known for this, you know, for these hands and pile. like, yeah, yeah, they're the, the pilot sound. They're one of the original. Are they yeah. one of the original pilot? Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. they were. They were making pilot watches for it the military. Yeah. IWC. Uh, yeah, and the bracelet. There was Laco, bra and there's one other one. Stoba. Stoba. Mm. That's the other one. Mm. Their bracelet has a like a what's it called like a glide lock kind of situation. Now the only problem I have is the la petite prince that that they have la petite prince on the back. It makes no sense. Tim, I gotta tell you how to say it. Bro. It's petit, petit, and then prince. La petite prince. There you go. Tim. Much, much better. La petite prince. 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 Uh, prince. Ice. Ice. You have to say prince. Hey, prince. La petite <laughs> prince. <laughs> That is yeah, funny. the little prince. Yeah, you know that, right? Yeah, that's you know this watch, the IW. Yeah. yeah. No, I know why region. Why? Because this is German engineering, right? German engineering. Okay, yeah. And you said this one is for the pilot arm, right? Yeah, it's for the pilots. Yeah. So what is the, the lepeti? The rider. Yeah, the rider. What really like to the doing the become a pilot? Oh, the rider wanted to become a pilot. But it's illegal. But it was illegal. But the uh -huh. was popular. Uh huh. In France, so they allowed to him to. Oh. So he using the like the Air Force Army, the French, uh -huh. and the Germany. Yeah. Was the okay. Yeah. I, okay. I, I understood half of it, but apparently the the author of the La Petite Prince, uh, you know, had some relationship with aviation. So there you go. Wow. That's very cool. That's very cool. I had no idea. But how do you know that? I know everything. Oh, she knows everything. She and she knows everything. Kurt is co-signing that. Yeah? <laughs> Ooh, Tim was 100% right. Damn. Well, it was Tim's wife. I had no idea. My, my wife knows something about watches. What is happening? Yeah. <laughs> Am I, I, yeah. I, know, I, I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> Tim's <laughs> wife should replace Tim on the channel. Maybe she should do do live streams after <laughs> when I'm away. Hey, you want to do live streams when I'm gone? <laughs> she, she she can rake in the super chats and uh, keep it. Bring in the super chat, <laughs> super slap, super slap. By the way, Marco, that reflection is <laughs> what's happening. Also, the sun so, going down. The sunset. I, the I don't sun know what's going on. It's like <laughs> reflecting off that thing. By the way, Tim, yeah. we gotta end the stream. Yeah, is yeah. About Let's to do be. it. Let's do it right here. Bam! Here we go. Masi, two bucks for Miss Tim's educating us. Look at this. You just earned two bucks. Tell us you learn gotta to, start pulling. Yeah, your learn more about here. watches. You can do the, li uh, the the live shows when I'm away. The community has spoken. Thank you. Jonathan Conrad 
Marco, Alex, and Quicker Than Draw. Thank you so much for joining me today for this pre-show. I really appreciate it. I appreciate this community and I hope to keep doing the live shows. And I'll see you guys on the Archie's stream in like two minutes. Oh, I'm going to eat and then I'll join. I'll be a little bit late. I hope the community doesn't get too angry. Bye, everybody.